guys, uh, Vince Rotato here. Um, recently, um, I was out fishing and a friend of mine uh, borrowed a, um, a punch hook of mine when we were out there on the on the river. And he asked me, he's like, hey, this where'd you get this punch hook? And I said, well, you know, I bought it at the store. He goes, no, 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 the, the keeper, how'd you do that? And I told him basically I, I, I get rid of the keepers that um, come with the standard uh, hooks that you buy at the store. I just, I just don't like them. Um, and one of the reasons why is the standard um, keeper that it comes with, um, it, it's a little bit high for me as opposed to where the eye is. Um, and I, I like my keeper down a little bit lower. And number two, I don't actually uh, care for the method that they use to um, secure the hook keeper. So um, they usually like, it's like a heat shrink or something like that, and then one drop of glue. And I've actually tried these, um, and, and I'll be out there flipping and punching, and after, you know, an hour or two, you know, sometimes this will start to move, and I've actually had the keeper fall off. Um, so I decided, hey, I'm, I'm chucking that out, and I'll just actually tie my own keeper. So I'm not here to tell you which hook to use, but, you know, just with your straight shank, this this is a, um, my, my standard punch hook. Um, you need a few things uh, before you before you tie your um, your bait keepers. Um, first of all, you're going to want an X-Acto knife. You're going to want a pair of pliers, um, some scissors, uh, any type of super glue. This Loctite super glue seems to be really good. Um, bait, uh, I'm going to actually uh, tell you guys, actually have a little paper clip. Okay, and I'll show you what, I'm, what I mean by that um, in just a second. And then just something to tie. This is just a little fly tying deal you can get this anywhere it's a little white river deal you get a bass pro shops or tap warehouse fishermen's wherever you want to go and then i actually keep with me a um, handheld microscope um, this is about a 500 to a thousand power i can't remember which one it is um, before i do anything i actually inspect my hooks um, i'll actually turn it on it's got a little uv light on here i turn it on and i actually can look right into it and check um, the imperfections of the hook, the solder, um, if there's any sharp edges inside the eye, and if there's anything I think that can rip my line, cut it, whatsoever, I, I chuck it. That's just how I am. Or I'll just use it for practice and I keep it set aside. But anyways, the first thing you want to do is take an X-Acto knife and you want to cut the existing uh, sheath off. And, you know, you just want to strip it. It's pretty easy. I mean, that's it. You know, you, you, you strip it off, done. Do it on this side. Cut that off, okay? And then you you basically just peel it off. Once you peel it off, you're gonna find out that there's really nothing holding that that keeper, but just some a few pieces of thread, All right? That's it. So the, the the sheath is off. There it is. Watch this. That's all that's holding it. So now I have basically a bear hook, you know. So if you have a hook out there that you like and there's there's no bait keeper on it buy it because what I'm about to show you you can just use anything now the the bait keeper that comes with it it's actually a little small I like them a little bit longer but I will use these I will reuse these and this is where the paper clip comes in in hand so here's your standard little paper clip you know I take a pair of dykes drop my glue there have a pair, pair of dykes and then I'll cut it about that far right about there okay and then now I have this straight piece of wire. Take my little needle nose, and I'll just bend it about 35, 40 degrees. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. That's it, and I'll show you guys photos, okay? So now you have your own bait keeper from a paper clip that you can use if you don't have one that you're taking off the hook. You wanna have a vise. Um, I put this just on a ream of paper because my wife gets on me if I uh, connect it or clamp it down onto our nice kitchen table. I've got this cloth over it uh, just to keep me out of trouble, so to speak. But anyway, so I don't worry too much about cleaning the shank of the uh, hook because it, it's rough there and I actually want it there to just, you know, put a little bit of glue and it'll hold my, my keeper there real quick. So I've already put um, a hook into my, my vise, okay? And what I've done is I actually have a keeper there that I, I, I did just so I can keep this video short. But I'll take the keeper, okay? I'll take a dab, a dab of the uh, super glue, hit that shank, put it on there, and, it'll, and I'll wait for it to get a little sticky. Once it's in place for just a second, I just take my thread and just wrap it around real quick about three or four times and cut it. And I'll let it sit for about 
I don't know, five minutes. I'll walk away, whatever, do, do whatever it is I need to do, clean up, get a glass of water, have a beer. You know, it, this is my off time. I actually enjoy doing this. Once I have this and I'm set, now, now it's all business, okay? Now what I want to do is just take my line, okay? And guys, there's no secret to wrapping a hook, okay? The most important thing is that you wrap it and you wrap it tight, okay? And then there's enough thread that it's holding it. So what I like to do is I just put it right under the bait keeper, between the shank and the bait keeper, and now I, I, it'll hold, right? So I just put it just like this, okay? And this extra, this extra line, it's not a big deal. I just hold it down. I just go around it once or twice, okay? Now, I take this extra line and I put it right around the bait keeper, okay? This part, it doesn't even matter, but this extra line, rather than cut it off, I just put it right down the shank and I'll let it hold, I'll just let it sit there and it'll hold. Now I just wrap this thing, okay? And it does not have to be exact and perfect. Um, I'm a bit anal with my equipment, so um, I want every strand touching each other. Okay, and something I like to do also is just because I got to the bottom of the, the the bait keeper, I keep going. I don't stop. Okay, I'll go down a little bit more. Okay, now here's something that I would encourage you guys to do. Once it's there, take your super glue, okay, and just dab it. Just a dot. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. And just run it down that thread. It's going to soak in. That's all you want to do. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that existing thread again and you're going to bring it back up and around that big keeper, okay? And then I'm going to start wrapping back up. Okay, guys, this is not rocket science. You can do this pretty fast, all right? The main thing is to make sure you have it nice and secure, okay? And then when I get to the top, I actually kind of go around my bait keeper different different angles, you know, and I'll bring it back, bring that extra uh, thread back up and around the bait keeper again, and I'll start wrapping it again, okay? But before I do that, I get back my glue, and I'll put another dab. And again, all I want to do is just soak this thing. That's all. I don't want it dripping. I don't want a mess. I just want it to soak into that thread, and it'll just start to harden. I mean, that whole thing will be rock hard here in just a second. Okay, and now I wrap back down. Okay, now I already know that there's plenty of thread on there just by going back up. But again, this is my, you know, ADD that's working. Um, I just want to make sure that I have plenty. So once I go down, I go right back up. Okay. And then when I get to the top, like I'm there now, now I just kind of you know, go around that bait keeper again. And then I'm just going to do like a couple overhand twists. So once and twice and then go around the eye of the hook. When I go around the eye of the hook and I just pull it tight, it's just gonna create like a little overhand knot. It's not a, not a big deal. There's, like I said, it's not rocket science. I just do it two or three times, okay? That's it, there's my knot, okay? I just take another little piece of glue and just rub it around. Once that's done, take my scissors, cut it, and I'm done. So this usually takes about an hour to, to dry and then actually about maybe two to three hours to really actually cure. Um, the final product looks like this and I'll show you guys photos in the video. But you could see it's a little bit further down, okay? And I like that because I want a little bit more rubber um, at the nose rather than just a small piece. So, you know, we come in and out of that, that cover, I don't want it to rip. Okay, and then you can see how thick it is right in here. That actually acts, it does a couple things. It, it creates a tighter fit around my plastics, so it's, it's not gonna move up and down below that keeper as well. And then over time, it starts to fray. This is what I, uh, this is perfect. I love this stuff. This hook's actually probably a year and a half old. Um, I, I just keep a, a set of my um, older hooks that I use and I'll, I'll use them in practice. But you see how this gets all frayed? It's still super strong, but now when I put my scent on, it actually kind of adheres to it. Um, and so I kind of like that. I'll show you guys a photo. It's not a big deal, guys. Um, I will encourage you to uh, make sure you try and get one of these things. Super, super handy. Um, I hope this tip helped you out. Um, like I said, I had a couple people ask me over the course of the years, this is what I do in the off season. I actually enjoy it. Um, I'll tie 
30, 40 of these things um, at one sitting if I really have to. But honestly, what happens is I just do about 20 to 25 and it'll last me throughout the year because I still have some that I practice with. Anyways, check it out. Um, and if you like it, great. If not, and you want to keep using the standard stuff that you buy at the store, that's cool too. But um, this is something I enjoy doing. Hopefully it helps. Talk to you soon.